So for today's video, I want to discuss the possibility of Boruto versus Kawaki actually happening. Obviously, after Boruto chapter 70, we did see Amado get captured, where we saw the likes of Koga get his limiters removed. Currently in the storyline, many things are happening right now where I don't think Boruto versus Kawaki will actually happen in the next couple of chapters, for example, but I definitely do think this battle will happen before the time skip. I definitely do think this is a battle that will eventually happen, and this will be the final battle before we go into Boruto part 2. And I definitely do think there is plenty of things that hint toward this upcoming battle simply because of how Kawaki's feelings are for Naruto. There are plenty of things that Kawaki has said and done which shows you that he will do anything for Naruto's case even if Naruto doesn't support it himself. So with that being said, there's many things that are going to happen in the next couple of chapters, specifically in a model retrieval arc. I definitely do think this is a very high possibility of actually happening simply because Amato is such a key player to the Hidden Leaf Village and with the likes of Kawaki questioning Amato on why he has the Karma Seal back, he wants to ask Amato why he did it in the first place. And with Amato being so important to the Hidden Leaf Village, the village definitely wants to get Amato back since he has helped the village so much in the past, considering that he gave Kawaki the Karma Seal and he has saved Boruto's life, especially with him giving the pills which has slowed down the Otsuskeification which didn't allow Momoshiki from resurrecting at any time soon. So I definitely do think there's a very high possibility of the village sending out a team to rescue Amato and as we saw in the last page of Boruto chapter 70, we did see Code go for the kill and trying to kill Amato but I definitely do think Ado will stop Ko from delivering that death blow simply because Ado wants to kill Amato herself and knowing where Sasuke has the location of where Ko's at in the land of snow it definitely is expected for Ada to know that Sasuke knows about the whereabouts of Ko's hideout so I definitely do think Ada will try to play at Konoha's hand by keeping Amato alive instead of allowing Ko to kill him right away by holding Amato captive where they will wait for the hidden leaf village to send out their heavy hitters to come to Ko. So far in the code arc we've seen Ko invade the hidden leaf village twice once by coming near the village where he did fight Boruto and Kawaki and the second time where he did try to have a sneak attack trying to kill Amato right away and try to get his limiters removed. But thanks to Shikamaru's high IQ and genius, he was able to stop that temporarily. Now that he has a key player of Konoha in his hands, I don't think he will invade the leaf village again. I think he will wait. I have a feeling that Ada will probably stop Code from killing Amato and they will come to an understanding that they can just hold Amato captive or they can wait for the likes of Boruto and Kawaki and Naruto and Sasuke for example to just come to them. Where we will get a battle between Boruto and Kawaki versus Code, which will probably include the likes of Naruto and Sasuke. I don't think they will win right away. I definitely do expect Konoha to get their ass beat, considering that many times in Shonen, when a villain gets a new power up or when they get stronger in power, for example, they always win their first fight. It's not really expected for them to lose, and knowing how strong Code has become, considering that he has stayed to be above Jiken's power level, I'm definitely expecting for Code to just beat up the likes of Boruto, Kawaki, and potentially Naruto and Sasuke in this upcoming rematch in the Boruto manga. So I want to say that. I don't think Boruto vs Kawaki will be happening anytime soon. There are simply many things in the story that are happening right now that will simply stop it from happening. But I definitely do think a potential battle of Boruto and Kawaki could happen if in this hypothetical situation of an Amato retrieval arc actually happening. If Kawaki, Boruto, and Naruto and Sasuke go for example just the four of them and we see the likes of Momoshiki come out again and actually try to kill Naruto, I definitely do think Kawaki will try to kill Boruto. We obviously saw this earlier in the code arc where Momoshiki almost killed Naruto. Now that Boruto is at 100% Osutsuki, he did say he can channel Momoshiki's powers a lot better now. I don't think Boruto will want to sacrifice himself to where Kawaki will kill him again. I think the situation has changed now knowing that Momoshiki cannot resurrect anymore. The only danger right now is that Momoshiki can manifest again. The Boroshiki transformation is still confirmed to happen again so that is still a humongous threat but since the resurrection cannot happen anymore, I think Boruto has a better idea that he shouldn't recklessly throw his life away. Obviously he's willing to kill himself for the sake of the leaf village now that him and Kawaki reach such a high power level at this point I don't think Boruto wants himself to get killed again and with the upcoming battle with Code I definitely do think they're gonna struggle they're gonna get their ass whooped but eventually I definitely do think they're going to win and now it all depends on how ambitious the writers are with the likes of Code I feel like Kishimoto as a writer can be very ambitious so I definitely do think Kishimoto is not gonna hold back or Code is definitely gonna beat up the likes of Team Konoha and most likely catch a body maybe killing Naruto or Sasuke and what if Shikamaru comes onto this battle we know when, when Naruto first activated sage mode earlier in the code arc, Shikamaru went along with Naruto to protect him as he did not have Kurama's powers anymore. Knowing that he's not at the same power level, bringing Shikamaru onto this Amato retrieval arc will bring intel to help the likes of Team Konoha to take down the likes of Code, Ada, and Damon. However, I don't think it will be an easy task at all. I'm hoping the writers are very ambitious with the likes of Code, now with Code saying that he has put Shikamaru on his hit list. So with that being said, if the writers are going to be as ambitious as I think they're going to be with the likes of Code, I definitely do think 
think he's gonna catch a body so whenever that happens right whenever this battle eventually ends whether code gets defeated or not i think kawaki will try to kill boruto i don't think boruto will just randomly try to fight kawaki there's no reason for him to do so but we know that kawaki will do anything for naruto even if naruto doesn't agree he will put down anybody including boruto himself if moshiki ever comes out and threatens naruto's life once again or tries to kill sasuke or go after kawaki we know that momoshiki and code have the same goals kawaki's not gonna hold back he's gonna try to kill boruto again he's always been showing this bloodlust type feel and i feel like boruto this time around is not gonna hold back he's actually gonna put up a fight and i think just at least power wise i do expect kawaki to win it does seem like he has a better understanding of using the karma compared to boruto for example when he does use the true essence form of karma i definitely do think if boruto and kawaki were to fight again especially at the end of part one kawaki most likely will come out victorious but i definitely do think that writers will use some sort of plot device to make sure boruto stays even with kawaki for example the jogon imagine that comes out when he's fighting kawaki like kawaki's dragging boruto for example and boruto activates the jogon to save himself where it does turn the tide of battle sort of like how naruto and sasuke were fighting at the end of part one at final valley where sasuke was kind of dogging on naruto until naruto activated the nine tails chakra and he basically started dogging on sasuke again but if they were to fight i definitely do think boruto and kawaki are going to be even but kawaki will definitely be initially the stronger one simply because number one he has the stronger otsutsuki karma inside of him ishiki is stronger than momoshiki that's a clearly a given and his karma and abilities are stronger technically but i think boruto will be given an edge in this fight considering that he is the main character boruto will be able to keep up with him simply because he's always been shown to be relative to the likes of kawaki throughout this entire series ever since kawaki was introduced whether they've been in base or in karma form and now that he's 100% otsutsuki i definitely do think he's going to be stronger than he once was before in his true essence karma form where he was only about 82% otsutsuki vacation now that he is 100% otsutsuki he's definitely going to be able to draw more power of the karma now that his otsutsuki dna is at 100% there's nothing that's really going to hold him back now in terms of power because we know when he was fighting code for example boruto was holding back he wasn't going at the full maximum power and before he could actually go all out against code he suffered a heart attack now that momoshiki can't resurrect anymore he has the advantage of fighting as much as he possibly can until momoshiki comes out obviously there still seems to be a power difference between borushiki and true essence karma boruto but now that boruto has more dna of the otsutsuki boruto in true essence form may be able to rival or even surpass the likes of borushiki considering that when kawaki was fighting borushiki they were basically about relative in terms of power i definitely do think in this battle kawaki has the advantage but boruto may be able to pull a fast one and come out on top obviously the person who's going to initiate this fight most likely will be kawaki i don't really see how boruto will just start fighting kawaki out of the blue i think kawaki has a real motive this time to actually fight boruto and that is to take him down considering that he is still a threat to the likes of naruto thanks to momoshiki still being able to manifest inside of boruto's body and the fact that ada could potentially manipulate kawaki into killing boruto we know that kawaki is basically in safe hands of not being fed to the ten tails thanks to ada warning code that yo if kawaki ever got hurt or if he ever gets killed in battle ada will not hold back obviously we know that ada wants to get with kawaki simply because that's one of her desires and goals if he were to ever run into ada ada may manipulate kawaki's feelings for his desire to protect naruto and force him to fight boruto kawaki's a person who's always been manipulated his entire life when it comes to the likes of jigen and naruto whether it has become a bad influence or a good influence he's never known to ever reciprocate love so if the chance happens where he actually gets to meet ada she may be able to convince kawaki to not kill her but instead to try to kill boruto because obviously i don't think kawaki is going to look at boruto right away and try to kill him but i think there's a very high chance of that happening if moshiki were to come out but i definitely do think boruto versus kawaki will happen at the end of part one i think this is going to be the final battle but my question is how are they going to deal with code this is the one thing that i don't want to overlook considering that he is the main villain of the boruto manga in the current arc so with that being said it's necessary for the writers to make sure code is as deadly and as ambitious as possible i want him to be threatening i want him to be menacing as a villain but whenever they get past him or however they get past him or if they don't at all if code retreats or if they introduce more otsutsuki boruto versus kawaki will happen i think this is a very high possibility of happening simply because kawaki's feelings for naruto if he can get manipulated in a way for example from the likes of ada if he ever gets to meet someone like her or if momoshiki comes out again and boruto doesn't actually want to be killed i definitely do think this battle is going to be the final one before part one but let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below do you think there's going to be a boruto versus kawaki fight where he actually fights kawaki maybe trying to take him down or maybe try to protect the both of them let me know what you think about that in the comment section below because there's a lot of stuff that i definitely do think that are going to happen in the next
next couple chapters in the Boruto manga, such as a potential training arc, a rescue arc, stuff like that for example. So let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section below. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace.